Hi, and welcome to letsmakeav.com. Let's make AV is actually a combination of words. It's let's make adult video. On our front page, you'll see a brief video introduction that gives you a pretty good idea how you can use let's make AV. In the right hand corner, you'll find a link to our about page and why to use let's make AV. Next to that is our How It Works slideshow, featuring fun illustrations that take you step by step through the process. The next link takes you to our Help page, which features a Q of A of often asked questions. If you don't see the answer you need here, tap the chat icon to speak with our staff live. Click the logo to return to the main page. On the main page, you will find posts from all over. To the left, you'll see navigation where you can select your location and category of interest. So you know, we are a team of Silicon Valley high-tech entrepreneurs, hackers, investors, and lawyers, not thugs. We came up with this legal solution for everybody to have a safe and legal channel to buy and sell immediate pleasure service. All right, this is how you sign up for letsmakeav.com. Go ahead and find the sign in link up in the right hand corner. You'll then brought to the sign in screen Go ahead and click the sign up button. At the sign up screen, put in your email address, a password, and how you found us. If you have a promotion code, go ahead and select the promotion category. You'll then be asked to type in that promotion code. When you're all set, click the sign up button. You'll then be brought to a confirmation screen so you know your account's been created. You'll be redirected to the sign-in screen where you're going to put in your username and password. When you press the sign-in button, you'll be brought to your profile page and you're all set. This is a typical profile page. This is your default photo until you upload a different one. To the right is essential information to allow other users to get to know you better. Your username starts out as your email address, but that can be changed also. To edit your profile, click the Edit button. This will take you to an editing area where you can change all your inputs. First, decide on your username if you don't want to use your email address. After you've picked your username, all the other information fields are optional. We suggest that you input your location so you can find others around you. Make sure to acknowledge that you are at least 18 years old. And then you can select your gender if you want to. Self intros are a great way to inform other users about you and what you can do, what you want to do, and what you don't want to do. Especially important for providers, specialties help you place within the categories listings. You can either select all and remove certain categories or select categories individually. You can specifically enter what you do not like to do. Cup sizes can be very helpful and a non-applicable option is available for males. Once you select submit, your profile will be updated. Please note that the system will log you out after you update your profile as a security feature. Be assured your profile is always safe with us. To update your profile photo, visit your profile. On your profile page, click the Organize Images button to upload your photo. It may take a little bit to upload if it is a huge file. Once the file is uploaded, you can crop the image to your preference.
On the Profile Images page, you can choose to show the photo, set the photo as your default, or delete the photo. We'll choose to show the photo. A second photo is easily uploaded below. Cropping the photo to make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible is a good idea. We will set the koala face as our default pick for the example. The koala face will now show up on all your posts. You will find several useful tools under your account link. In the account lobby, you can get an overview of everything involving your account, including active bids, incoming and outgoing messages, active projects, account balance, and your active posts. All finances are handled in the balance and points section. In this area, buyers can deposit money to spend, while providers can withdraw funds they have earned. Clicking the Withdraw button, you simply type in the amount you want to withdraw and fill in your PayPal information. Points can also be purchased to advance post positioning. Selecting the Favorites option from the account link brings you to the Favorites page. Here you can save the name card of a post for future use. For example, if you will favor this provider, click on her post and then add her to your favorites. Since it is labeled Post, this favorite can be found under Posts. You can also add a name card to your favorites. For example, say you favor this provider. Click on her post and then click on her profile photo. You will be brought to her name card where you can add her to your favorites. She can now be found under the first tab. You can rename a tab. And delete a favorite at any time. Or even the whole tab. While logged in, you will see five options on the top bar. The post, message, project section, account, and live support chat. Posting is one of the most important functions of letsmakeav.com. Buyers and providers need to clearly inform users that they are providing or buying services. Under Post, make a new post. On the New Post page, post a need if you are a buyer or post an offer if you are a provider. You can post anonymously where your username and profile photo are hidden or choose to display them, which is encouraged for providers. Because there are buyers and providers that travel constantly, you need to select that you are local or global. Special refers to providing a specific need or requesting one. Enter a title and then your address. If you don't want others to know exactly where you are, you can move your map pin. Then make sure to input the price and duration. 
all other fields are optional. Putting in category keywords will help users find you. The scope of work is the meat of your post. The scope of the work is where you describe in detail what you will provide or what you want done. For example, if you are looking to set up a rehearsal rather than a live performance, this would be a good way to inform users. You can then request a specific kind of provider or buyer. This is perfectly legal to do. Let users know how you will connect with them. Then detail your content. If there are any stage props that will be used, be sure to include that information. as well as any other information. You can advance your post by using points from your account. Check the terms of use and type in the validation code. You can then preview your post and submit to publish your post. Once your post is published, wait for the bids to come in. If you do not want to wait, you can search for bidders and invite them to your post. The search bar will help you find your post. Click on your post and invite bidders. This button takes you to your favorites. where you can choose users to send an invitation to. If you send a bid invitation to a buyer, they should send you a reply soon. You can view it in your messages. After reading the reply, you can respond back. If you are interested in a post, click the bid button. You can be anonymous or show your username, fill in the price and duration, then the start date and end date and location. Enter in any details. Check the term of use and type in the verification code. You will then see a preview of the post and your bid, which can then be submitted. Your outgoing bid will appear as a notification in your project section. To guarantee both parties' interests, the buyer needs to prepay for the project. When the bid is accepted, the payment will be frozen in a custodial account for both parties and the funds will be released to the provider until the project is validated. If project isn't validated, the money will be returned to the buyer. Once the counterparty accepts the bid, it becomes a project. When you go to My Contracts, you'll be able to see all the projects you are involved in. Here is a validation code. You are the only person who can see it, and your counterparty will have their own validation code. Your counterparty and you will need to scan each other's QR codes to validate the project. When the validation takes place, the frozen funds will be given to the provider. If validation does not occur, the funds are refunded to the buyer. 
After the project is completed, both parties are able to write a review for each other with a star rating and message area. Let's Make AV also provides a map view where you can find users all around you. Different map pins help you find buyers and providers. This was a short introduction to letsmakeav.com. Please enjoy the versatility of our platform. Whether you are a buyer or a provider or both, you have a multitude of options. Remember, you can choose to not charge at all and exchange your services instead. We hope you enjoy our site. Thank you.